Next this time, I'm going to start will recording now. Be now. Recorded. Um, I'm going to repeat because As I was mentioning, uh, Nemo Studio, NemoCast is part of Nemo Studio, which we have 3D software, NemoCast for orthodontics, Nemo Smile for smile design, Nemo Scan for implant planning, and Nemo Fab for orthognatic surgery. You also have 2D software for cephalometric tracing and for 2D smile design for simulations. بتتكون النيمو ستوديو من عدة وظائف الوظيفة الأولى هي نيمو كاست للتقويم في عنا نيمو سمايل لتصميم الابتسامة ثلاثي الأبعاد وفي عنا نيمو سكان للسرجيكال جايد وفي نيمو فاب للجراحة الفكية الوجهية بالتخطيط ثنائي الأبعاد في عنا تتبع العلاقة السيفالومترية وفي عنا so today we're going to be looking at NemoCast, in which what we need are the models, the stone models, which may be scanned with an intraoral scanner or a desktop scanner. ممكن لنصنع التقويم إنه نحتاج للموديلات اللي ممكن تجي بالdesktop scanner في المختبر أو بالintraoral scanner في العيادة. Now, NemoCast consists of two parts, the preparation of the case and the planning of the case, the diagnostic of the case. So we are right now in the preparation, the orthodontics preparation, and then we have the orthodontics planning. بتكون الأرثودونتيك من وظيفتين. الوظيفة الأولى هي تخطيط التقويم والوظيفة preparation هي uh, in the preparation part, what we have to do is orient the models in 3D space, in the, like we have here. Then digital basis is so that we can make sure that we have closed the models. If they were from an intraoral scanner, we have the tools to close them. Uh, الموديلات بشكل ثلاثي الأبعاد والحالة إنه استوردنا الصورة بالintraoral scanner فلازم نعملها مصمتة بتحويلها عن طريق البرنامج أوتوماتيكيا. And the final part of the preparation is the segmentation part. In the segmentation part, what we do is that we put planes on top of the teeth so that we can segment them, like you see here. نحتاج لتقطيع الأسنان وفصل عن القاعدة مثل ما بيظهر بتحديد عرض كل سن ممكن نفصله عن القاعدة. We do it for both the superior and the inferior model. بالنسبة للفك العلوي والفك السفلي. And then we go down here to the tab for the segmentation. So we choose here because these models are from an intraoral lab scanner. We choose intraoral scanner. And the software is going to recognize the contours of each one of the teeth. هذا الموديل من السكانر الانتراورال في مختبر. هلا البرنامج عم بيحلل الصورة ثلاثي الأبعاد ويقص الأسنان يفصلون. So here we just need to check the contours with edit contour. هلا من من عين على حدود الأسنان اللي تم فصلها ومصححهم بتحرير الحواف. So I'm going to check the contours now and then we're going to segment the model. We fix them like this. Drawing. نصح. نصححهم بالرسم حاليا على الخطوط الصحيحة للحواف. As you can see, the contour is pretty good. Automatically, the recognition. مثل ما شايفين تحديد الحواف فيه ذكاء اصطناعي بيتحرف على الحواف بشكل مباشر. 
And these blue dots here are the papillas. We can move the model with these icons down here. And once we're done, we update the papillas, the blue dots here. نعمل تحديث للحريمات اللسوية. And we segment the teeth. وبعد من نفصل الأسنان عن القاعدة. The software is is thinking right now because it's going to segment and create a gingiva. So it's going to segment each one of the teeth so we can do our orthodontics planning. Okay, so I did this for the upper. The lower, I had prepared it before. So we also have the lower. هلا بالنسبة للفك السفلي حضرته قبل المحاضرة جاهز. And then we go to the last part of the preparation, which are the teeth anatomical landmarks. So for this, we just click on calculate upper and calculate lower. حاسبة للعلامات الموجودة على الأسنان. And this is for the software to recognize each one of the positions of the teeth. So for example, the ones in purple are the lingual, the ones in orange are the center. And in front we have the axes in case that you want to do indirect bonding for brackets. في عنا من الأمام المحاور في حالنا نعمل indirect bonding ل brackets. In this one, I don't have for the bracket, so I can place it manually. So I click here on lower menu, and it automatically recognizes tooth number forty-seven. And I can automatically place it. في السن رقم سبعة وأربعين عملت التحديد بشكل يدوي. And we also have information here where it says panels, where you have different measurements. Right now, as you can see, we have upper discrepancy, lower discrepancy. All these different measurements. We have the comparisons for each of the teeth and the teeth. The difference between the teeth and the teeth. But the measurements are empty now, so we need to bring in the Rafa plane and place a symmetry curve, uh, an incisive guideline. Doing it here on import. حاليا نعمل عملية إضافة هالبيانات عن طريق استيرادة. And we place the guideline on the cusp tip of the canines. We shape it according to the patient, and we begin getting those measurements. See here, we have those measurements now. هلا منحط الأقواس نعمل مرجعية. So we place this in the distal border. We just adapt it to the model to get the best measurements that we want to analyze. منولف شكل القوس على القوس السنية. للحصول على التفاصيل 
المقاييس الموجودة عنا بأدق ما يمكن Then in the lower. كمان بالفك السفلي بنعمل توليف القوس. And then we have this raffle plane for the occlusion. So we just place it like this. نأخذ منظور جانبي ومنحاول نولف القوس أو السطح. على سطح الطاحن so we can have the occlusion and we can have the best measurements there for our studies وبهي الطريقة نحصل على أدق تفاصيل لتشخيص الحالة and now we have the measurements for all the different uh, analysis that we want to make for example you also have the Moyers Bolton and Corkhouse studies and once we finish this would be the preparation of the case so we're going to save as Preparation, case preparation. هذا تشخيص الحالة الأولية. And we're gonna go now to the planning, to the diagnostic. It's this is the preparation, so it's the pretreatment. هلا بنتوجه لعملية التشخيص. And now we're going to go from preparation to orthodontics planning. In orthodontics planning, the, the workflow is to do the setup and then to print the products. بتكون من مرحلة صف الأسنان والمرحلة الثانية إنشاء بالطباعة ثلاثية الأبعاد. So we're gonna go to setup. مرحلة التنظيد وصف الأسنان. We have all these tools here that we're gonna look at. عنا كل الأدوات اللي نحتاجها. This is the occlusogram of the teeth. هذا هو مخطط الفك العلوي والسفلي مرقم. And these are the movements that we're going to make. So every movement here is going to have a measurement that the software starts working with to make the the aligners to make your 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 diagnostic to make your your case to make your case planning. هلا في عنا هدول الخانات هي بتحدد لنا التغيرات اللي عم تجرى على كل سن من الأسنان بكل الاتجاهات. The rest of it. Sorry, go go ahead. Okay, mesialization, onsi, وحشي, protrude. في عنا intrusion, تبزيغ وتغريز. في عنا torque ولا محور bruise, tip. لمحور السن روتيشن تدوير السن فأي تعديل بيجرى بيحصل وبيظهر بالخانات. And the rest of the tools we're going to look at while we're doing the case, okay? والأدوات الثانية رح نعرضها بأثناء استخدام البرنامج. Now I have Smile Design. I have this software Nemo Smile Design. So I'm going to use these guides to help me. Place the teeth in the right place. This is not necessary, and it only is if you have smile design. But because I have it, I'm going to help it myself with it. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to place an incisal line. موجود عندي تخطيط للابتسامة للحالة. 
ممكن نتجاوزه ولكن أنا موجود عندي كريفرنس لأستعمله في عملية صف الأسنان Then a symmetry guideline. مساطر التناظر. From right to left. If I had the photo, I could also uh, place it with the midline of the patient's face. But I don't have a photo for this patient. But we could do that if we had a photo. في حال عنا صورة ممكن نضيفها. صورة على وجه المريض. These are the ideal proportions. هاي بتحدد لنا النسبة الذهبية ونسبة عرض السن على طوله. This is the relation between the centrals. هاي العلاقة بين الثنايا. The papilla and the gingival guide, the gingival limit. والحليمات. So I'm going to use it to make the movements. It, as you will be able to see, every time that I make a movement, what I do is that I select a tooth. And you can see here that the movement starts being recorded. In this case, only the tip you see here. لاحظوا انه بالخانات صار يظهر عنا الحركات اللي اجريتها هلا عملت حركة على تيب الاسنان يعني محور السن If you have a if you have a cephalometric analysis and you have the exact measurement of what you want to do for example you want to visualize comma 2 you can place it here and for tooth number 11 once we apply it visualizes you see في حال انه عندي دراسه سيفلامتريه وحددت انه لازم اعمل عمليه انثي وحشي بمقدار 0.2 فانا بحطها بالخانه وتظهر وتتفاعل على السن بهي النسبه وبهي الدرجه اوكي سو يو كان اولسو ميك ذا موفمنتس هير اف يو وونت اف يو هاف ذا اكزاكت ميجرمنت ممكن اعدل من الخانات او مباشره على الاسنان Okay, so now I'm going to make the movements. I can also choose two teeth at a time to move them together.
I, ju I was just uh, muting the microphones so that we don't have a background noise. Okay, now I'm going to take off the lines to check. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. MH Scaf, uh, I, I have to mute you because there is background noise. Afterwards, we'll have time for questions, okay? Okay. Yes, there was a microphone opening that that had a um, that we had background noise. So, after using the lines to help me, uh, you don't need the lines. You can do it manually, like I'm doing right now. But because I have Nemo Smile, you can also use them to help you. Uh, make the design ممكن اعمل الديزاين مباشره او استرشد بتخطيط الابتسامه لعمل الديزاين and now we're going to do the lower نفس العملية من حركات عن طريق الأقواس والأسهم. You can see all these measurements are getting recorded here because we're doing the setup. In the timeline, we're going to have the the diagram for our aligners. أي حركة منجرية على الأسنان سواء السفلية أو العلوية تتسجل مباشرة في الخانات اللي على اليمين أو على اليسار. Okay, so we have enough so that you can see the tools of the software. So we have the upper and the lower. And now, after we've made all the movements, we have different viewing tools. So for example, if we click here, we can see the absence of the contour of that tooth. <laughs> فينا نعمل عملية إخفاء وإظهار بعض الأسنان لنظهر الحواف بشكل واضح. Or if they're clinically missing a piece there, we can see the contour of the gingiva. إذا كانت الأسنان مفقودة فبيظهر عندنا شكل اللسة. We can also see uh, what teeth we have moved. So if we click here where it says teeth change in color, we can see the teeth that we have moved and the ones that we have not. 
من نقرا على المربع الخيار اظهار الاسنان المتحركه بيتح... بيظهر عندنا باللون الاورنج الاسنان اللي تم تحريكها We can also here I'm going to fix this here a... we can also see the initial setup or can the, the the model or the initial setup or we can see both if we click on this box we can see also the uh, distances between the arches if we click here on the occlusogram we can see so for example we can place this like this and and we can we can move towards where we have that contact for example here you can see the red here ممكن نحدد موقع نقطة التماس عن طريق المقطع الجانبي. So what I can do is that I can lower this one a little bit. بهاي الحالة فيني أعدلها بتغريز السن للأسماء. In this way we avoid a the, the the contacts that make may, may be uncomfortable for the patient. Okay, I'm gonna check the microphones again because there is some noise. Sorry about that. Okay, and we can also see be besides the interarches, we can also see the intraarch. So over here, where we, we have intraarch, we can see if there are any distances that are going to need stripping. Okay, so for example, here we can see there that we have contact. Okay, and and we have all the information also here of the movements. We have a table that we can print into a PDF with all the different movements. Rotation, tip, fork. We have a table The ones that are in brighter red or, or pink are the movements that are the, the biggest. So probably here for number 32, we're going to need more aligners. So this is how we use the setup a toolbar in general we're going to look at brackets and attachments afterwards but this is the general use
هذا هو الاستخدام الأساسي للبرنامج ممكن إضافة attachment لإضافة ارتباط أحسن مع الأسنان وتوجيه حركة معينة Now we're going to go to the timeline which is our setup for our patients aligners as we can see teeth number 32 needs more aligners نلاحظ الخط الزمني للحركات فالسن رقم 32 نحتاج لعدد أكبر من الراصفات البلاستيكية لعمل الحركة المطلوبة So we have rotation and translation movements and the ones that have a white arrow means that you have both translation and rotation بعض الأسنان ممكن نعمل عملية إزاحة أو تدوير للأسن إذا كان في عنا سهم للأعلى بلون أبيض بيعني إنه موجود حركة دوران وبالإضافة لحركة إزاحة. And if we put the cursor, we can see there that it says in this case 04,2 millimeters, meaning that from a liner zero to a liner four, this number 24 here is going to move two millimeters per a liner. إذا نظرنا إلى السن رقم 24 ورأينا أنه مسجل 0.4 المليمتر هذا بيعني أنه على عدد الجدول أو الأعمدة معناها تحرك حوالي 2 مليمتر إذا كان في أربعة خانات. So what happens and we can stretch the movements we can make them bigger lasting more time or we can make them smaller but why does it become red? ممكن إزاحة المدة الزمنية للحركات بجعل أطول أو أننا نضغطها لجعل المعالجة أسرع وأحيانا بتتحول للون الأحمر Because now it's saying that from a liner 0 to 2 it's going to move 4 millimeters يعني أنه خلال مرحلتين من الراصفات راح يتحرك 2 ملم. And what we have said to the software is that each aligner is going to move dot 25 ملم maximum angles of 2 degrees and each aligner during 2 weeks. So that is why oh, yeah. it becomes red. That's why we have an alarm. أعطانا الإنذار لأنه نحن بالأعدادات الافتراضية أخبرنا البرنامج أنه نحرك 0.25 يعني ربع مليمتر كل ألاينر وب 2 درجة فلما نحن تجاوزنا الحدود اللي افترضناها كحركة أعطانا إنذار أنه نحن في مرحلة نضغط على البيوميكانيك للجسم But we can change this according to every case and to your experience you can personalize it تمام وممكن انه نعدل هاي الخيارات حسب الخبرة. Now here we can also see only the movements in translation and rotation but if we divide the movements in components we can see exactly what type of movement. For example this one mesialize, protrude and intrude, rotation, tip and torque. So we can see the detail of the movements we had here. ممكن ننقر على مربع لإظهار التفاصيل كل حركة إذا كانت إزاحة أنسية وحشية أي حركات تظهر بتفاصيلها. We can also decide a how to make the setup. For example, if we want only the centrals to begin and then the, la the laterals and then the canines, we can also personalize that according to the case and according to experience. ممكن أيضا التخصيص الحركة بأنه نجعل مثلا السناية هي اللي تتحرك أول فممكن نزيح الحركة فيها حسب الخط الجدوى الزمني بحسب الخبرة.
So I am changing the scheme of the alignment, saying uh, for the centrals to move first, to create space, etc. But every movement that we do, we have to click on this blue uh, circle to make sure that it is saved. عملنا تخطيط تعديل الخط الزمني بانه نجعل الثنايا تتحرك اولا لنكسب المسافه وبعدها تتحرك الاسنان الرباعيات والانياب بس اي حركه بنعملها لازم نعمل ابديت لها بنقر على الاسهم الدائريه. We can also make the movements last the same amount of time. It is all depending on how you prefer the treatment for your patient. You have all the control. Okay, so this one, the shortest that I can make it is nine aligners for tooth number 32. أقصر فترة زمنية هي تسع راصفات يعني حوالي أربع أشهر ونص. So after we've planned the setup, we can also add attachments. So for example, here in number in the canines 13 and 23, they both have translation movements. We can add translation attachments. ممكن أن نضيف attachment عند الأنياب. لأنه شكل الجسم السن دائري وبالتالي بتحتاج إلى زيادة ارتباط بين الراصفة البلاستيكية والجسم السن تعمل حركة الإزاحة. We choose the translation attachment and we place it. نختار نختار الاتشمنت المناسبة و. We can move it. We can change the size. We can do personalize the attachments and there we have the different measurements when we want to make it bigger or smaller. ممكن تحريكة. ممكن تغيير حجمة. So I'm going to put one for the canine, number 21 and number 23. Okay. And I'm telling the software that they're going to start. This green line tells me where they're going to start. So they're going to start in aligner number two. And I'm going to say for them to end in aligner number five. ممكن نحدد مكان استخدام للاتشمنت من الراصفه رقم 2 حتى الرقم 5 So the attachment will last from aligner number 2 to number 5 for example الطبيب ممكن بعد خمس مراحل انه يزيل الاتشمنت وما يحط الاتشمنت الا لما بيوصل للمرحله رقم 2 So this is regarding attachments Regarding stripping, we can see the interproximal overlaps. بالنسبة للاتشمنت انهيناها لا بنجي على موضوع السحل بين الاسنان. By clicking here, and if we click on spacing labels, we can see the different strippings necessary on the different teeth. If we move this line, this is the measurements for a liner five. But if I move this, they will also change. Okay, so here in a attachment number, in a liner number four, we have a, 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 a collision of comma 23. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do stripping 
on the distal on the on the distal of 22 and the mesial of 23 ملاحظ عند الراسي في رقم أربعة مرحلة الرابعة أنه في عن تداخل برقم 23 فلازم نعمل سحل بين الوحش رقم 22 والأنسي رقم 23 Okay, so that is going to be on this tooth where it says 23 So on the distal of 22 I'm going to say to do 12 نعمل تقسيم للتداخل فبنحط عند الأنسي عند الوحش للسن رقم للرباعية 0.12 and on the mesial of tooth number 23 I'm going to say point A to do 11 ونعمل سحل بالنسبة للناب من الأنسي بمقدار 0.11 so this is the original graph where we had the stripping where you see the collisions 23 21 etc but here where we do the stripping we've finished with that collision and we can see uh, all the movements Um, once we've finished, we can take this to step number zero, and we can see by putting play here how the movements are going to turn out. So we can see the movement. play so we can see the movement. We can see we can also check if with the lines and I can go one by one for example the movements there you can see here now the attachments appear the stripping and the rest of the movements until the last one which is our piece number 32 32 has the last movement for a liner 10 here we have so that is how we handle the timeline for the setup now we can print our aligners and remember if we had a photo we can include a photo for the patient to see the movements and understand the treatment في حال وجود صورة للمريض كمان ممكن نضيف صورة وجه المريض لإظهار كيف عم تتصلح الأسنان تنصف بشكل نموذجي. Okay, so we're gonna go back to setup. We're gonna save as treatment. منخزن باسم تريتمنت خطة العلاج and we're going to say okay now to print what we do is that we go to a products للطباعة سلسلة الأبعاد وننتقل لتبويب products and we can do all of the aligners at once or we can select to do from for example aligner 0 to aligner 5 you have and then after you check you can say to print a uh, other aligners فينا نعمل طباعة لكل الالينر بنقرا على الدائرة العلوية او اننا نطبع خمس الالينر 
لحتى نتأكد أنه كل شيء تمام عم بيش تعاون معنا المريض وممكن بعدها نطبع الخمسة الباقيين So first what we do, we're going to do the superior model. We're going to establish this plane which limits the amount of material to print out so that we don't have to print out the material here on top and we can save material. ممكن نستخدم مستوى الأص باللون الأزرق لحتى نوفر كمية المواد المطبوعة. Then we're going to define the limit this line is for the software to know to print only what is inside this line. ممكن نستخدم أداة الأص اللي هي عبارة عن عقد متتالية بتحدد لنا إنه اللي موجود داخلها هو اللي راح يستخدم في عملية الطباعة. And we can place a label. ممكن نضيف تسمية على الموديل. From zero to zero. I don't want to. I want to do them all. Okay, so we can place a label. Saudi Arabia webinar. And we say that we want it here in the base. ممكن نحدد وين نضيف الكتابة بشكل ثلاثي أبعاد على الموديل. It's going to be ten aligners. And yeah. we're going to label a folder. A folder will automatically be created with this name. Saudi Arabia webinar. I decide where I want to place it. So, for example, here in pictures. Saudi Arabia. I had already some, so we're going to delete them so that you can see that we're going to do them right now. So the one that we're going to have here is Saudi Arabia webinar. Okay. And you see under pictures, we want to label each one of the aligners. So we click on this box and we want each aligner to be labeled here. Number one, aligner two, aligner three, etc. ممكن طباعة نافرة لرقم المرحلة على الأسنان فبتظهر بشكل نافر على الراصفة البلاستيكية. We want the models to be hollow but closed, and we want to add the attachments. ممكن نجعل الموديل مفرغ لتوفير كمية الحبر للطابع ثلاثي الأبعاد. We want the software to repair the bio models. And we can نوصل يصلح موديلات. And we click here in build bio models. So the software is exporting it. Here and it's starting to create them. files. So it's creating a liner one, a liner two, a liner three. And it's exporting it from here. See a liner four. Six and And the last one for the superior model, they were seven aligners. 
So we have the seven aligners here. This is the one with the attachments. حصلنا على سبع موديلات للفك العلوي. So there we can see the attachments. نستعرض الموديل اللي مستخدم لوضع الاتشمنت. There is the the I placed it wrong, but you can see there the tag and a liner number two. نلاحظ الوسم ثلاثي الأبعاد. بالرقم 2 اللي هو الالاين الرقم 2 so you do thermoforming on top of this to create the aligner and you give it on the, for the patient after the first two weeks because the first aligner is two weeks the second aligner another two weeks etc نعمل عملية تشكيل الصفائح بالضغط والحرارة على الموديلات لصنع الراصفات you can also make a mock-up of the aligner if you click here where it says setup mock-up it's going to be the mock-up of the final uh, of the final aligner this one over here but in this case it would be an ideal mock-up because what you see there, I'm going to change the color. I don't like this color. Opacity, color. What you would see here with this mock-up is where you would need to, do, um, to, to, to reduce the teeth after the orthodontics if you wanted to. It depends on the case. In this case, the mock-up would be, would be this one. الموك اب هو بيزرنا وين حتتحور الاسنان وين ممكن نحتاج لعمل ازاله because here we have a brought the teeth to to palatine so if we had brought them out if we had brought them to vestibular then it would be an ideal mock a, a motivational mock up in this case it's an ideal mock up هذا هو الموك اب المثالي في حال حركنا الأسنان إلى الأمام أو إلى الخلف. And we can also we can also do brackets. Okay, we can place brackets if you want to do indirect bonding, but we have to do it with the initial uh, treatment. So we click here where it says restart all. We say yes. Okay, نضيف. Bracket, ولكن نبدأها بالحالة الأولية. I'm going to remove the attachments, and where it says here add brackets, you select the bracket that you want to use. نختار say, okay. شركة المصنعة للbrackets ونظام البrackets المستعمل. So there we have the brackets placed according to. Uh, the anatomical points. Remember here, before in the preparation, that we had the the axes. We had the different yeah. axes. So the brackets are placed according to those axes. You see. من يتم صفر brackets أوتوماتيكيا اعتمادا على المعالم التشريحية لكل سن محورة. لما حددناهم في بداية عملية تشخيص. And you can also move the brackets in case that you think that it's gonna be uncomfortable for the patient. You can also move them. For example, here the ones in the bottom, we could bring them down if we want, like that. في حال أنه لقينا في تعارض أو إزعاج لبعض المواقع على البراكتس. ممكن ننقر على البراكت اللي بيحتاج لتعديل وبيتم إزاحته لمكان مناسب أفضل من المكان الأوتوماتيكي. And then printing is the same. We go to products. In this case, we don't have this option because it's only going to be one aligner. ممكن okay. إنه نحن نصنع 
فقط صفيحة واحدة لأنه ما في عنا مراحل مثل الـ aligners clear aligners so we fix the, the plate to not waste material I'm gonna do the inferior uh -huh. also ممكن نحدد سطح القطع اللي هو التريمر لنوفر بالماتيريال Then we define the trimming line. نحدد حقل القص. الفك السفلي أيضا. and the label ومنضيف الوسم للموديل the path is the same pictures in this case, we don't have more than one aligner, so step label is not active. We have the hollow models closed and repair bio models and build. So we're gonna go Saudi Arabia brackets. It's still making it. Um, بيتم تصير الشكل إن شاء الله. Finished or not? Let me see. Maybe the lower or upper. Oh yeah, it's the it was both, right? You're right. It's the there we go. We have the superior for the S and the inferior. <laughs> So this is if you want to do indirect bonding. Hi, if you had an anamel of the little brackets. And we have the inferior, it would be this one. الفك السفلي كم دليل ده صف البراكت and we can also do we can also do instead of the brackets we can do the jigs so we can click here where it says load jigs and select okay. the jigs طباعة إطار للحاصرات. And we just have to change the name to create a different file. Jigs. بنعدل الاسم لحتى يتم تخزينه بمجلد مختلف.
and what we say is that we want to export the jigs. نعمل عملية تصدير. So we have there export jigs build biomodels. And now uh, jigs. لا يوم في مجلد جديد باسم jigs. Jigs is, is another way of positioning the brackets uh, by giving you the limits of, of the brackets. بيعطيك حدود لتثبيت البراكت بدل ما أني أعطيك إياه على الصفيحة فأنت بتعرف ضمن هذا الإطار لازم تثبت البراكت أو الحاصرة في هذا الإطار Okay, so now we have jigs There الموديل جاهز للطباعة. The upper and the inferior, the lower. الفك العلوي والفك السفلي. And that is uh, that is Nemocast. That is how we do orthodontics uh, with Nemocast 3D. In this case, I don't have a. You can also segment the roots. In case that you want to see the soft tissue movements, um, I don't have it in this case, but let me see if we have it somewhere here. ممكن uh, إنه نستخدم إذا كان على CT scan أو DICOM file إننا نحدد الجذور. من نلاحظ إذا كان في تعارض بحركة الجذور نتفادى المشاكل ممكن تحصل. So the software also gives you the possibility to segment the roots with the CT scan if you want to see the soft tissue movement. ممكن نلاحظ الحركة مع وجود الجذور في الصورة. Okay. بيعمل تتبع للجذور عن طريق صورة الدايكون فايل بحولها ل STL فايل. Okay, so are there any questions? جاهزين في أي أسئلة؟ Any questions? No questions? Ma fi ay asilas? Just remember, you can make your own aligners and have control over all the entire process. And you can change at any time because you don't have to import all the aligners at once. You can import one to five, six to 10, etc. ممكن انه نحدد عدد محدد من الراصفات ونطبعهم بحسب الطلب. ما انا محتاجين انه نعمل طباعة كاملة لكل الراصفات. I have one question about uh, tracing the roots. It mm -hmm. need uh, automatically or it uh, need to define uh, the margin of the root from the DICOM file. It's it's both. You have to you the software does an automatic recognition like when we did the segmentation of the contours, but then you have to go and you have to fix it. You have to to make sure 
that uh, that they are according to the contour of the CBCT. So it's a little bit of, of both. It makes it automatic, but then you have to go ahead and uh, and also check. Perfect. And okay. about the small module, we can combine as offer with the cast module together. So we can make yeah. smile design. We have packages. Um, yes, we have packages. It's called Smile Director, in which it includes a Nemo Smile and a Nemo Cast. Perfect. Uh, automatically, I'm going to tap on the door. We can talk about any difference in the photos that are available. We can add it. And there are also some damage to the damage تخطيط التقويم الشفاف في حال انه بتحبوا اي اسئله ممكن تتواصلوا معنا عن طريق الفيسبوك او عن طريق الايميل ونحن جاهزين وقريبا ان شاء الله في كمان ويبينيرات قادمه رح نعلمكم فيها بالوقت المناسب لها وما دام ما في اي اسئله حاليا رح نشكر وجودكم معنا متابعتكم ونلتقي فيكم إن شاء الله بويبنارات قادمة ونتشكر مستر فريدريكو بيتاكولوي على المحاضرة المهمة اللي أعطانا إياها Thank you very much for this very important information and thank you for all and wish to meet you in very soon Likewise, Mr. Bassem, thank you and thank you everybody for attending and I hope you liked the software. Have a great day. Natmana alaykum yom sa'id. Shukran masal khair. Salam alaykum. Salam alaykum. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.